Welcome back to the channel, guys. Got a 2011, I believe. Dodge Ram 1500. And it needs a cab corner on this side. And a rocker. What you got here? Gonna be a little cutting and welding in this video. Let's go around the other side for a little peeky. Okay, they're gonna have to uh, pull the Nerf bar here. But uh, as you can see, probably at least in for a cab corner, if not a rocker on this side. Okay, so kind of got this uh, cab corner mapped out uh, where this is going to fit. Um, this is a reproduction uh, made in Taiwan. So hopefully it fits up pretty good. Okay, cut this off where I think I'm going to need it. I hope it's right. So sort of drilling out the spot welds. And I got some tape lines on here. Uh, this is where it was fitting up. And I'm going to offset flange in here somewhere. So this is going to be my cut line along here. So that I can, uh, so I can use a flange tool. There he is. In there. Flange that piece. So that'll fit up in there. Like that. So I can weld that seam across there, hopefully. All right, so you can see things are starting to free up real good here. This didn't take much at all to really do to this point. Um, you really can't afford to lose too much of these marks though. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut off a little shallow here up through, then come up and around and hopefully, oh sorry, but that through here and then up and around this radius here to where my tape is and I think the piece, I'll see how the piece fits in. Okay, I thought I'd share this with you. Uh, I got this clamped in here. Um, pretty much lined up here. Following my line around you can see, I hope you guys can see, this is the body line on the vehicle here. This is the body line on the panel over patch panel over here same thing going on here's the body line shit here's the body line here patch panel body lines uh, over here so everything's basically got to come around the corner in order to close up this gap um, this is where everything's supposed to meet up this is where I measured to meet up was here in this uh, radius line here so this is going to actually have to come um, forward and then this is the situation uh, with uh, aftermarket panels all right so but everything's lining up more or less these gaps won't be hard to fill uh, I'm gonna offset flange around here then retrim the top of this to fit you can see the body line doesn't quite match up with these uh, Taiwan panels um, but it's pretty close. It's going to do the job. The door's fitting nice. I didn't get into the door area here. I'm going to be just outside of it and I hope that's what happens all the way down the uh, rotted out rocker when I put that in. Okay, so i got everything all anchored in uh, with sheet metal screws temporarily. And you can see this is what I was talking about earlier. This isn't going to line up here in order for these body lines to line up here and here. So when I go to weld this in, I'm going to start here and work my way that way around. Close up this little gap right here as I come around. You can see how it's flexible. Come around that corner just a little bit just to push that over just a tiny bit. And then, yeah, it's a bit of a gap here, but it'll all pull and push in. It'll be fine. Okay, so... See that body line there? It's supposed to match that body line there. I just kind of eyeballed it up. And I cut the end, marked it and I cut the end off. Uh, I'm going to have to get rid of a bunch of the panel here. I'm going to mark it down there. And clip it off so it'll slip in behind that rocker or the cab corner temporarily. Then get rid of all this other crap that's rotted out. 
All right, got this clamped in. A couple of vice grips about where I want it. I shot a screw in there to hold it up in place. Plus that'll also work as a temporary uh, marker for the numerous times. I'm gonna have to take this on and off. Uh, I took two screws out of the back here so I can open up this a little bit. I did throw a tack on there temporarily. And you can see this comes down around this corner. So right about here, I'm gonna have to take this, uh, this fold line out uh, so I can slip this, uh, slip this in behind the rocker, or I should say in behind the cab corner, and then I can uh, mark it and, and cut it off. And I'll probably, uh, I'll probably do an offset, uh, an offset flange on this uh, portion here that's kind of flat. Oops, sorry. Offset flange along this portion that's kind of flat here along this stretch on this piece. And then butt weld down around underneath. It's kind of what I got in mind. Okay, that one screw way down there holding that on. And it's pretty much resting where I want it. It needs to come down just a little bit. You can see there's a little gap there, but it's tight up there. It could be just a little bit of uh, the fact that it's not sitting down in, in this spot right here. Now I marked, since this is now tucked in behind because I cut that little spot out that I mentioned, um, this is all going to get offset, and that's offset. The tape is the cut line. Uh, for the offset uh, So by that I mean down here. I'm gonna do a butt weld uh, Because the flange is here. There's no way of getting the metal behind but I can offset this and I can offset that um, So the actual cut will be about uh, Three-eighths of an inch shit three-eighths of an inch this way uh, On this piece so that when I offset it the offset will end up just the other side of this tape line That's the idea um, after I get that done, I'll make sure that it fits up again, and then, uh, I guess start cutting out the, uh, the old shitty stuff. Okay, I hope this isn't too bright with the sun where it is, but this is how this works. Um, this is the piece I cut off the other end. Uh, this is the offset flange tool. Um, you only end up with about, uh, three-eighths or so of an inch of flange in here uh, when you're done so that just goes on the piece like that and I'll go hook up the air dumbass okay hope this isn't too bright just gonna do a little demonstration here of this uh, this is the piece I cut off the other end and this is the offset flange tool I'm using uh, this little portion here is the part that's going to be the offset and that's only about three-eighths of an inch uh, little step you're going to get so it just goes on on like that so and then you get that little that little emboss so I've got that much to work with so let me get you over here guy here so there's my cut line and I want that to be on there like that so you can see um, I'm actually going to be cutting uh, over here um, so that I can offset that and it'll be okay to leave that a little bit shallow since it's going to go underneath um, and then offset it so I'm actually just inside the uh, inside the tape line Okay, so if you guys can see that, I cut that up, you know, just shy of three eighths all the way along so that uh, offset will end up there. I'm going to slice this, I'm going to take out, remember I said this is a butt weld, so this, uh, this little corner here is going to come out completely. And then I'm just going to put a slit in there so that I can come up and then across.
busted loose. I'm just gonna take the cut off wheel and just kinda cut along here just to, just under the lip, kinda along, and then fit the panel back up and see how things are. Okay, here's where I'm at. Punched all these holes in the lip, cleaned up the lip on the inside, adjusted the front corner, hooked it up in the back, got some tack welds on here, so got it clamped up, some tacks in here. And a few tacks in there. I'm gonna get the welding blanket out to cover this up after. I don't think you guys need to see anybody welding this seam. I'm just gonna weld, you know, fill it in as I go along. Uh, first, I'm gonna plug weld all those in. Okay, got the welding blanket in here. I'm gonna start closing up uh, this cab corner seams here. All right, if I didn't mention it before, I'm just doing the fit, weld, and grind. Uh, I'm not finishing the job. Um, got pretty damn hot yesterday. I did do some work later on. But that pretty much closed in there. I did all the plug welds down there. Bunch up at the front up there. Uh, this morning in a carry on. I'm going to hit this with a crack with a wire wheel uh, first and then tap this flange down just to get a little bit tighter. And then continue to would go from spot to spot putting a little bit of weld on so I get it all sealed up okay so you can see all these tacks about a quarter inch apart along here just carry along till I uh, get the rest of it kind of looks like that and then start grinding some of that out okay working uh, in behind the door here uh, there's not enough room for the uh, flap disc grinder uh, nor enough room to really get back in there um, with the roll lock I uh, opted to go with the uh, gnarler bit on the die grinder back in there get that all cleaned up and I'll come in from the other side to catch these as well okay everything's all all ground out I know the doors are closed uh, the other side panels showed up uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit all the seams with some of this ABC glass plus uh, just to seal it up and then throw a some aerosol at you on there uh, it's gonna be several days before uh, get them other panels in I don't want this to start rusting on the body guy because like I said I'm not finishing the job all right gave my welded seams uh, where needed here it's the coat of that ABC I mentioned earlier uh, it's all hardened up cracks are all filled and all the way along uh, this won't take much to finish up you could probably just hit this with a with a roll lock and flatten it down it'd be just about damn near paint paint ready 
Now you can see this is all bare metal, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna cover it up a little bit, and I'll just uh, hit it with some of this self-etch primer, stoleum, uh, just to protect it till we get the other side done. And you can go back to the body guy. So I'll cut you back on when uh, I get that done. All right, there you have it, guys. All done as far as I'm doing it. Uh, rockers in, cab corners in, seams are filled with the uh, uh, fiberglass resin to make sure that they're uh, nice and tight. All right, guys, one last look before I drive this thing up the street. Those are the uh, cab corners and rockers. Uh, this is the driver's side, just finished up, and then we'll go around the other side, just have another quick peek. And here is the pass side that I did first. I think there's not going to be too much work needs done to that, and I'll be ready for paint. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.